drives people away. People are getting offended by it. Stepping on cigarette butts. You walk into a film of smoke. I just can't take it. If there's smoke, it bothers me. I would like to see um, secondhand smoke exposure eliminated. I don't want my clothes to smell like an ashtray. Businesses have choices to make. There are three things that we can do right now to strengthen our policies here in Sarasota County to make us a healthier uh, community. Uh, one would be Breathe Easy Zones. You're not smoking, but you're walking past everybody standing there smoking. And you might as well have been in the same room with them if they're going to stand in the front of the building. When you're smoking in the entryway, uh, I still have to walk through it. A Breathe Easy Zone basically says, I prohibit smoking uh, from 50 to 20 feet uh, in front of my entrance. Or if you're an outdoor cafe, you could say my outdoor tables are smoke free. I would be much more apt to patronize those facilities than, than those that do not extend that courtesy to their patrons. In California, you can't, have, you can't smoke by entryways and you have to be like 100 feet away. And... Also, I would like to ask the standalone bar owners to consider to adopt a, a smoke-free policy for their bar. Healthier, happier, and better for our community all the way around. I will not go to a bar that has smoking. I will avoid it at all costs. Went to a club here in Sarasota. When I went home, I had to leave my windows down on my truck, and I'm spraying my hair with Febreze to get the, the odor out, and I just think it's nasty. Where I'm from in California, it's been, I mean, smoking in, in buildings and in clubs, bars, has been out of the picture now for a good 10 years. So it's commonplace. We were both bartenders in New York before the bar, uh, before the no smoking ban passed, and we were afraid it would really hurt business and everything, and then it passed, and people still came out. In Chicago, they were so fearful that smoking, taking smoking out of the bar was going to kill the bars, and it didn't. They all found their ways to go outside, and I even think it was a little healthier because they weren't smoking as much. People who smoked still smoked, and they went outside, and they were fine with it, and people who didn't smoke were a lot happier, so it, it worked for everyone, you know? Also, I would ask smokers to be very cognizant, be very sensitive to the environment and where they place their cigarette litter. There's just a lot of litter associated with smoking. Smoking on the beaches is pollution times 10. People see it as just, this is just one cigarette I'm throwing down. But actually, it's one, one cigarette times maybe a thousand people over a course of a, a week. Secondhand smoke is the number one cause of asthma in children. I wouldn't go somewhere where they're smoking if I had a choice. Because of my asthma, it really affects me. We're very happy to keep our baby smoke free. <laughs> Secondhand smoke goes beyond impacting just you and I and the environment. It also will impact your pets. So if you're a pet owner and you're a smoker, your pets are at a greater risk for developing cancers. This is unacceptable. One of the things I love about Sarasota is I can take my dogs with me almost anywhere I go outside, but I don't want the occasion ruined by smoke. I think it's a situation where you're uh, infringing on someone else's uh, rights to a smoke-free area. Our Surgeon General of the United States determined in 2006 that there is no safe level of secondhand smoke. So if you're not a smoker, uh, you still may be impacted by someone who else who is a smoker because of secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke kills over 53,000 Americans every year. For me, it's, it's very important not to be in, you know, anywhere where I'm going to be breathing in secondhand smoke. I don't like to go to places where there is smoke and where smoking is allowed. It just, I just can't take it. And it actually bothers my allergies too. Most people don't smoke anymore and, and I recognize the rights of people who do, but I think they need to do it in more private places and just be courteous to, those, the, to the rest of us who don't want their secondary smoke. We are not advocating to uh, step on anyone's rights, but what we are advocating for are the rights of non-smokers. So we're trying to protect the health of our community. I'm, I'm an ex-smoker. I smoked two packs a day. Uh, I quit August 2nd, 1988. It was a Tuesday. <laughs> now I've become one of those most intolerant um, ex-smokers who can't stand anything to do with people. Who, if you ever go near anyone that smokes, they smell like an ashtray. Their clothes stink. 
They stink out of their pores. It's an addiction, and and every time I was would, would just even walk down the street and would sell, smell cigarette smoke, uh, it would re-trigger the, the desire. But the reason a lot of us uh, that our grandparents quit smoking is because they want to see our grandchildren grow up. It's been estimated that $4.7 billion a year can be, could be saved if all businesses in the United States were smoke-free. Consider the health care issues that are absolutely going to happen. That consumer is going to be paying an inordinate amount of money down the road for this addiction. But the rest of us are going to be supplementing their habit because we're going to be paying for their health downfall in the future. I think it should be smoke-free all over. It's something that's get, people have to get used to, but it's not, it's not difficult. The air was free and clear and fresh before they even invented cigarettes or cigars. So that's how I feel about smoking. I would love to see the majority, of, if not all, of our businesses choose to adopt uh, on their own a tobacco-free policy and, uh, and make our environment cleaner, a healthier uh, community. And I would like us to set the standard for the rest of the state. It makes it a little easier to be in those places, a little less stuffy and, and obviously healthier. It's about respect, actually. It's just about respect.